Amy and I met um, a little over 10 years ago, actually in investment banking training. I heard this girl, it's a really loud girl in the back, and I was like, who is this really loud girl in my class? I look back and I was like, I really like her dress. Today I'm meeting up with Amy Jane and Daniela Yakubowski, founders of Bobble Bar, an online destination for fast fashion jewelry. This dynamic duo was on the path to become investment bankers, but switched gears to launch their own brand right out of Harvard Business School. I know it's difficult to start an e-commerce business today because people are so fickle, and uh, yet you guys are kind of flourishing. Yeah, I think what it really comes down to is authenticity. I think when people feel like they're being sold something, they you know they, they click away, they don't engage. Um, and we definitely grew up in an era where a lot of companies were really building their communities on social media. And I think we really quickly realized it wasn't about saying, we love this necklace, we love this bracelet, we love this earrings. Mm -hmm. It was about, here's what we're drinking, here's what we're eating, here's what we're watching, here's what we're doing, and here's how jewelry and more broadly fashion ties into our day-to-day our -day life. It, it's interesting when you go through your website, I feel like I could just imagine you know someone sitting there with a glass of wine and kind of scrolling through. <laughs> is that how you and imagine And that is what it? we do every day. <laughs> So you guys practice that? Yeah, and, we do. And that's exactly what we want it to feel like. We want it to be a really fun shopping experience. It almost should feel like you're shopping with your best friend. How do you make sure that's a seamless, enjoyable, and beautiful experience? So one of the things we really think about are, you know, having beautiful editorial images that really grab her eye and um, give her um, inspiration for what she maybe wants to wear in her everyday life. You know, she's someone who's, who's on the go. She's very busy. We find that she is typically shopping across all of her devices. Yeah. She's on her phone. She's on her tablet. She's on her, her laptop and her desktop. So she wants to find that information really fast. I think what could be interesting maybe is for our next editorial is maybe showing the mints on like the more muted tones. Um, I think a lot of people are really focused today on this idea of hustle, right? You got to keep hustling. You can never stop. I think what's so interesting is what keeps you going is how much, how much you believe in what you're doing and what you're building. But I think for the two of us, us. Um, we ran so hard for the first few years that you almost break and you're almost a disservice to your team and to your company. And so we've kind of made a promise to ourselves that we're always going to find the me time. We're always going to do things for ourselves that make us happy. It's like that when you get on the plane, they say put on your oxygen mask first before you yeah. help someone else. <laughs> That's the same idea, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I think also people. Um, underestimate sometimes the value of that downtime. I know for both of us, we constantly have ideas in our downtime and we joke all the time that when you, you know, when you clear your head, sometimes that's when some of those, you know, moments of brilliance come to you. What about the, between the two of you, if an issue does come up, which I'm sure it does, how do you get through that? Battle it out. <laughs> Who wins? Who wins? <laughs> really? I mean, she's small and mighty, I guess, right? Yeah, that's right. It's a get in a room, talk through it, and let's better understand where the other's coming from and, and figure out how we meet in the middle.